So this phone right here was actually purchased for a whopping zero dollars. That's right, that means it was absolutely free. So guys, let me show you a few places where you can pick up some relatively cheap phones. Let's go. So I know this video has been highly requested and this is actually how this video topic came about. Now, if you haven't noticed, I get this comment all the time. And that is, where do I buy my phones from? Literally constantly, I just can't escape it, guys. And it's pretty funny that I've been dodging this question for so long, and I really don't have any reason to, but you know what, guys? Here we are, we're finally making this video, and uh, hopefully you guys are happy with this. So let's get right into it. Right, guys, so the very first place I look for, for cheap phones, that is, is actually Amazon.com. Now on Amazon, you guys can see we can just type in track phone and these like relatively cheap phones will actually pop up. Now I usually go over to the filter and just change this to a max of $30 because we don't want to pay anything too crazy for our purposes or use for these phones. And that is actually to make a return of investment on them if you guys don't already know. But yeah guys, so looking through this list right here, you guys can see there's only like two phones right here that are actually worth getting. At least in this price range right here, we have this blue phone right here and this other blue phone, which I think are the same model, just different carriers. Now both of these phones are not the greatest especially for the price you're paying for them so i would not actually get these so then what exactly is a good option well guys this one isn't a great option like i said but it's a good option right here personally i have ordered a bunch of these which make up 20 to 25 percent of the foam farm as of currently and that is the track foam tcl models and these guys right here sell for around 15 to 20 bucks depending on which models you guys get now to reveal this right here, you guys can see it wasn't actually zero dollars. We did have to pay 14 plus shipping because I'm in Canada. For those of you guys that are in the US, that would be only $15 probably with a bit of tax, I assume. So yeah, guys, I had to get you guys to continue watching this video somehow. But don't worry, this is not just fully clickbait because I'm about to show you guys the method we use to actually get this fully for free. Essentially, you guys are going to order one of these phones and run two apps called S'mores and My Robinhood. You guys could also run other apps which we review on this channel to get a faster ROI. But guys, just by doing these two apps right here, you guys can pretty much passively get your investment back in Amazon.com cards, that is. And obviously, guys, the reason why it was $0 for us was because we already started a phone farm, which essentially pays for itself over time. And we just continue expanding using the gift cards that we get from it. But basically, guys, if you're trying to invest into your own phone farm and create one for yourself, this right here is not a bad option. It is not a great option, like I said earlier, but it's cheap and you guys can get the job done with it, definitely. However, you guys can't run the taxing apps such as like Cash Magnet or any of the other apps like that because those ones will take a little bit more RAM or just power in general. So this phone right here, if you guys are trying to just do the basic like My Robin Hood, S'mores and Reclaim, something like that, then this isn't a bad option. Also, just wanted to say right now, quickly, if you guys are looking to buy any phones on Amazon.com or just anything in general, well guys, I have a few Amazon cards that are just sitting around and I'm actually willing to sell them to you for a discount. So if you guys are interested, then make sure you guys actually hit me up on Discord. I will have, well, my username slash hashtag number, whatever it's called in the description so that you guys can friend me up and we can, well, chat about it, whatever you guys want and we can strike a deal. Anyways, back to the video. So then what exactly is a great option for those of you guys looking to expand your phone farm for cheap and also get relatively decent quality phones? Well guys, make sure you stay tuned because I'm about to show you guys one of my favorite spots to get those type of phones for a relatively cheap price. As well, we will actually weigh the pros and cons of both options. But before we do that, a quick word from our sponsor. Are you looking for a way to send bulk SMS for your marketing campaigns while also being able to do so efficiently and cost effectively? Well, let me introduce you to Text Magic. Text Magic enables you to use custom lists, including many contacts, that you can select to send a generic message to everyone included on that list. You can easily create these lists by importing contacts using the plug and play style features, which allows you to import mass amount of phone numbers collected on a spreadsheet. 
So for all you business owners that want to find out how to actually use this service, make sure you click the link above or in the description and you guys will find a step-by-step -step tutorial where I take you guys through text magic and all of its awesome features. Now with that being said, let's get back to today's video. Okay guys, so you can see right here, this is my second or actually most favorite spot to get phones from. And you guys, this is not a shocker, it's eBay. That's right, if you guys haven't already noticed, eBay is a great place to buy used items for relatively cheap. Now don't actually click off just yet guys because I'm about to show you how I find all these phones because you guys probably went to eBay, googled like or searched through some phones and just couldn't find anything really that great for phone farming. Well guys, let me guide you through it. How exactly do I find these phones? I will say it's sometimes just luck of the draw and you know, sometimes you come across something really cool, but essentially guys, what I start off with is just type in cell phones, just like you guys would. Then next, you guys actually wanna go over to the condition and make sure you guys check off uh, for parts or used. So you guys can actually select both. Then you guys actually wanna look for an Android cause that's what's best for phone farming anyways. So go ahead and select Android. And now all you guys have to do is scroll through this if you guys want to just look for one singular phone that is exactly how you would do it until you find something that's a relatively good price however to build a phone farm fast and for a relatively cheap you guys actually want to go ahead and search lot at the end of your search results so type in cell phones lot and you guys can see right here we have a lot of 10 for 32 dollars which is an auction obviously so you guys can bid on that Though, however, looking at the photos right here, that doesn't look like a great purchase, so we can continue looking, but this one right here, guys, just look at this. So guys, we've come across a lot that contains 17 phones. Now, the first thing I do is actually go to the description, and you guys can see we are actually getting phones that all power up, which is obviously a good thing, and preferably they include a little bit more, you know, details like not Google locked and all that but for this purpose of the video we're just gonna go ahead and look through this right now guys right now just looking at this photo itself I can tell you guys pretty much that these two phones at the very top left corner are kind of useless we won't be able to do much with those same thing with this corner right here that one on the very far right in the middle might be okay but this one where my mouse is hovering over right now is pretty much a junker now these two at the very bottom quarter might be okay, but at the same time they look pretty old, so I'm pretty sure that is not going to work very well. Which means guys, we're left with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven phones in total. So guys, if we add up the total, including shipping and import charges, you guys can see we are actually getting these phones for $148. Divide that by the 11 phones that we can actually use, that would get us to around $13.53 per phone. Now because they actually put this condition as used, that means guys that most or all these phones technically should be working, otherwise you guys could probably file for a refund or at least some type of reimbursement from eBay. So for $13.53 to Canada, honestly this is a great purchase and um, I'm actually thinking of buying this right now honestly guys because this is actually a decent lot that you guys could probably pick up and definitely farm with so guys let's actually calculate the ROI on this scenario right here so if we were to actually purchase this lot right now let's just say only 10 of these phones are actually usable so let's just say we get 10 phones that work now if we go ahead and actually divide that price up which was like i believe 148 so 148 oh that's not right so if we take the purchase price divide that by our earnings monthly you guys can see we will pay this off in a little under two months now this already right here is worst case scenario because this right here ships to canada for an additional 12 bucks and $10 import charges. If you guys do live in the US, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a lot cheaper for you. As well, we've already taken the example that only 10 of these phones work. Let's just say 12 phones work or maybe 15. I have no idea because some of these phones might actually work with the phone farming apps. And if it does, well guys, your ROI time will actually go down and you guys will get your return on investment even faster. So guys, if you want to check this lot out for yourself, I will leave a link in the description. This is not me, so, and I'm just saying guys, 
this is not financial advice whatsoever, but if you guys do want to take the risk on trying out some of these phones right here, make your own decisions. This is not me telling you guys to go out and purchase one of these lots right now. If you guys want to take the chance, like I said, it is all up to you, but make sure you guys actually, if you do get some phones, subscribe to the channel because we actually go over a bunch of these apps that you guys can use to get the return of investment you're looking for. And then after continuously generate this passive income from phone farming. Now we kind of just got lucky with this search right here. I'm not even too sure if it works. The description isn't that great. So it's not the best lot out there, I guess, unless you guys just want to take a chance on it. But essentially guys, going back to our search, you guys can see we can actually find a better lot somewhere else. Now just going through these listings, you guys can see we can actually find pretty big lots like these ones right here. Like if you guys just want to grab up a bunch of phones right now, you guys could technically look at these ones right here. I know the Galaxy S7s definitely are good if these actually work. I'm not too sure if they do. Let's just take a look. So it looks like based on this description right here that this lot could actually be decent. However, guys, the seller right here doesn't actually disclose which phone has the, you know, lock, passcode lock or whatever it is. So it could be risky and you guys are sinking in a decent chunk of capital right here. So personally, would I do it? Probably not. I would look for a lot around five to 10 phones large just for the sake of not needing to sink in that much capital just in case something does go wrong now after searching through a bunch of these listings you guys will find right here i will actually have it on screen right now we found a decent lot to purchase and i'm actually going to go ahead and buy this one and we'll review it on the channel when it actually gets here so this lot right here we've actually purchased for around $161 in total with shipping and everything included. Now these phones are not the best by any means, but guys, after looking through a bunch of listings, I was just trying to get something to expand the phone farm with. So I came across a lot of seven and honestly, guys, if you look right here, this seller, I will have a link to them by the way, um, actually has decent items. So guys, if we go over to their cell phone uh, section or, you know, filter, you guys can see that they actually have a decent amount of phones right here. Some of them are lots. Some of them are just sold uh, separately by themselves. But you guys can actually find a decent amount of phones right here. Also, guys, another place to find deals on phones is actually in the Hustle Group, which is our Discord channel, which if you haven't already joined, there will be a link for you guys in the description as well. And right here, you guys can see we have something called the Marketplace and under deals on phones you guys will find a bunch of phones that well are on sale or a decent price at least and once in a while the community will actually post a few deals that they find online and once in a while i'll also do the same for you guys so yeah guys make sure you go ahead and check out our discord channel and join that up if you haven't already so what is better exactly amazon or ebay well guys let me just put it this way if you guys want a large amount of phones and fast well eBay is the way to go for cost efficiency. You guys can get a lot of phones as well. Most of these phones that you do get that are used or for parts will be actually of higher models. While Amazon will actually give you guys a more brand new phone type of feel. So basically guys, when buying used phones, you might actually experience battery bloating more frequently than you would actually if you were to buy a so-called new phone from Amazon, which is closer to a new phone than well, eBay listings are. Don't get me wrong, these will still battery blow, but you know, from my experience, um, the used phones are more likely to blow first rather than these phones right here. Eventually they all will, but that's just part of the business. So which one is better? Well, that's up to you. I've already given you guys the pros and cons of both. Now that you guys have your phones, it is time to put them to work. So check out the playlist on screen right now. I'll see you guys over there. Thanks so very much for watching. Peace out for now.